Hello and welcome back to the Muscle News. We continue with the big story of the week of Michael Double versus Two Bros Pro. Two Bros Pro respond to allegations. Bodybuilding event promoters Two Bros Pro have come under fire in the last couple of days after a serious incident took place at their event last weekend, 6th April 2024. IBB professional bodybuilder Michael Double was attending the event to support his partner, IBB professional bikini at the Petra Voladonova was competing in the 2024 Olympia weekend qualifier in the bikini class. It seems that Michael was not happy with the way the event was organized and went on to publish several videos on his Instagram account. The day went from bad to worse for Michael when he tried to enter the backstage to speak to his partner. According to Michael Double, one security guard let him in when the event ended. But when he entered the backstage area, four security guards allegedly escorted him out and allegedly punched him several times, causing him to have some serious injuries. What, what, what was said between Michael and the security guards is not known, but they got into a confrontation and Michael allegedly suffered broken ribs, a partially broken nose and a serious eye injury. After the incident, Michael published his side of the story and went on to receive support from hundreds of fans and athletes. It was not long before the IVB Professional League also published a press release that they would also be investigating the incident that occurred at the Two Bros Pro event. Two Bros Pro finally responded to accusations. Immediately after their event concluded, Two Bros Pro published a press release accusing Michael DeBill of being very aggressive and allegedly abusing a female member of their staff at a previous event. This is what Two Bros Pro had to say. The team at Two Bros Pro would like to address an incident that took place outside our most recent show. A male athlete was ejected from the venue while it's attempting to access restricted areas where females were dressing and tanning and, and was refused entrance in accordance with Two Bros Pro safety policies. Throughout the day, said individual was being very aggressive towards security staff who were just performing their duties. Several attempts were made by this individual to access restricted areas without being in possession of the correct passes or credentials. This is not the first time this individual has acted in this manner at one of our events and was spoken to after fighting with a spectator and abusing a young female member of the staff during a previous event. There are strict policies in place to comply with female athlete safety and there are clear policies in place regarding spectators and backstage areas. Two bros have always taken an athlete safety first approach and will continue to do so. All venue security staff are SIA licensed professionals and have strict instructions to prevent non-paying spectators from attending our events and to prevent unauthorized persons from accessing official areas during classes. Two bros will not be commenting any further until police investigations are complete. Moments after Two Bros Pro published their press release, bodybuilding fans and athletes were ruthless in their comments towards the bodybuilding events promoters. Michael Dabo did not take Two Bros Pro's response lightly and confirmed that he would be taking legal action in his last post. This is what Michael had to say. Given the new statement of Two Bros, it is clear the best scenario is to proceed legally considering they are now lying on the incident, regardless of the comments, cameras, and witnesses, in addition to that, accusing me of being some predator just to save face of what they did. I will no longer be discussing this issue, and I will have my lawyer take care of it moving forward. The only remark I have is that disgrace will be brought to justice. Thank you, Michael Dabo. Michael Dabo continues to claim his innocence and that there there are witnesses and CCTV footage to back his claims. While Two Bros Pro continues to allege that Michael was out of line, Michael has confirmed that he is taking legal action against Two Bros Pro. We will surely be hearing more about this story, and the Muscle News will keep you up to date as soon as any new details come out. Thank you. Six people only compete in Classic. In a show, it used to be at least 30 or 40 people to compete at. I wonder why. Why do you think, guys? At the Arnold, we pay like around 50, 60 dollars for three days expo. Watch the show for all divisions, except the open, I think. Yeah, here, you pay 50 pound to watch one fucking category, and then you find out you need to pay for another one to watch a small show for 
five or four people. <laughs> it's crazy, man. Yeah. Some shows really like need to grow in lighting, backstage, stage, everything. I think the UK is going very much back, back way. Shows used to be here really good. Now it's really bad, really bad. I feel really sorry for guys who are prepping for three, four months and then they end up not treated well or not competing in a show they get respected. This is really need to change, man. People really need to speak up. I know this might piss some people off, but I don't give a shit. I'm from this athletes who really need support, really need to get treated well. That's not the way to treat an IFBB pro or even an amateur athlete. That's not a show you want to compete at.